Good afternoon everyone. Today we are going to discuss about reading module and this will be a briefing for reading. In reading, you will have uh, 60 minutes, that is one hour to complete 40 questions, that is roughly one and a half minute per question. There will be three sections in the reading. Uh, the questions that will be based are will be would be factual, discursive, or analytical. Uh, each section would have uh, 14 question, uh, 13 to 14 questions roughly. The reading module is of a complete 40 questions. You must answer as per the instructions. Academic reading is generally slightly tougher than the general module. But nevertheless, the sections are more or less same. The different types of questions that will be included in the reading are match the following, yes, no, not given, true, false, not given, multiple choice questions, and sentence completion, which also includes fill in the blanks. A wide range of reading skills are assessed that, uh, that includes reading for gist, understanding the central idea, reading for detail, understanding the inferences and the implied meaning, recognizing the, of, uh, the writer's opinions, attitude or purpose, uh, following the development of an argument. Um, please do read a lot of newspapers to understand and, and read intensively to get the central idea or meaning of the difficult words. Please learn to read quickly. That will help in the main IELTS examination. What are the strategies for reading? You must understand the context of the passage. Skimming must be done. Unlike any other examination wherein you read the passage and then answer the question, here, here you do the opposite. You first read the questions, understand the questions and then try to look for answers in the passages. One of the uh, practices is called skimming wherein you have an overview and then answer the question. The next technique is scanning, wherein you read with the purpose of fishing out specific information or details such as words, facts and so on. Um, lastly, you try to understand the central idea or the theme of the passage and then understand the questions. Summarize the paragraphs within, within a sentence which will be helpful in match the following and reading section. Understand the argument of the writer, what he or she is trying to trying to speak and then uh, try to put forward the correct answer. Don't waste too much time reading each and every word because it will not be sufficient in the one hour time that you have. Try to answer, try to finish the easier sections. Generally, section 1 and section 2 is easier than section 3. Please have 15-15 minutes each for section 1 and section 2 and 30 minutes for section 3. Do not panic if you do not know anything in the text. Move on to the next question and you can come back and answer the one that you have left out earlier. The words must be from the reading passage. Please do not change the tense or, or um, uh, if it is singular, please mention it as singular. Don't make it plural. Be uh, careful uh, to use them correctly, the singular and plural uh, practices. Focus precisely on what completion is, is asked for and what you have to note. Please pay attention to the word limit. For example, if you, if you are asked to complete a sentence using no more than two words, if the correct answer is silk shirt, don't answer shirt made of silk. Okay, it must be in two words. That means it must be silk shirt. That is all for reading. Thank you.